Ranger $100 money match. And ultimately, that was intense. Yeah, ultimately Red Ranger took it, but these two solid Ganondorf players. So no doubt we'll see. Uh, we'll put on a good show. I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, it's always uh, fun to watch Ganondorf in doubles. I think he does a little better there where he can really use that kill power. Oh, yeah. And like snipe people for being out of position. Yeah, he's like he has pretty much anti Marth percentages. Like once he gets two, three hits, you're, you're a kill percentage. Yeah. You know, you get a good back air off stage. You catch someone without a jump, you're probably gonna be dead. So the attacks are so strong, and they do so much too. So oh yeah, so we're he starting. He doesn't need that much. Absolutely, we're starting off game one here on PS2 Classic. <coughs> Everything stage, every region absolutely adores this stage. So it is a it's a great stage, especially I think in doubles. It's um, a little easier to feel things out when they're not chaotically packed in. Right, but speaking of chaos, this uh, every step of the way had a bit of a cluster over there at that right side of the stage. Everyone keeping in close. We'll see if Prem can use his lasers well, um, or if he will like try and use them at all. Uh, he might opt to use them very little. As I say that though, <laughs> uh, he's in that single situation, you know, him versus one other person. Right, and that's the thing too, you know, you're we talking about Ganondorf, how he can be good in doubles, and we were saying, you know, separation is huge, but back airs, forward airs, those are such strong moves that you get one or two of those hits at about 50, 60%. Yeah. You can potentially set up a 2v1 every step of the way just by getting those stray hits. Yeah, and the down B, a crowd clearing move. Oh, Krem, scared of the ball, just a little too low. Yeah, the spirit bomb was really Creeping him out, so he dipped. But six a little too low. Actually, yeah. no. Uh, six five right now. Blue team. A little up. Yeah. Yep. Well, they're finding themselves behind oh, right sorry. now. So. Yes, I thought you said red. My bad. Nah, you're fine. Uh, okay. Good up to. And this is uh, the thing that that those great beefy aerials can control the stage really well. Potentially set up edge guards. And that's what we're seeing a lot from Red Ranger so far. Okay. Nice back here there. Taking him off stage again. Maybe build some percent. And you were talking oh. about uh, Prem using lasers. I really liked his use of the blaster right there because, you know, while Red was uh, trying to get back on, uh, IPK or vice versa was trying to prevent that, trying to get his teammate back on. But right. he was just kind of poking away at him with lasers, saying like, that "No, is stop, stop, stop." That was great at doing, walling out and disrupting approach attempts. Oh yeah, it's so hard to do that against a Falco. It's really keeping his eye on you. Right, that's gonna be it. And right now, SoCal feeling pretty good about themselves. Yeah, not looking good for NorCal at all in this scenario. Oh, Ferris has Alan Falco. And one thing that uh, I know Mr. B is very good at, he's very proficient with, is wave landing short hop back air. It's so crisp and it's such a cool movement option. Yeah, and it's it's a great way to feel out what the other person will do because you can always retreat afterwards. Hey, one thing that might be hurting the blue team is Falco is a little fragile. Especially when you have two people to edge guard, oh, yeah. his mix-ups become a little less potent because finally you can cover all of his options. Right, and the pressure the Falco can put on is a little bit uh, dampened by the fact that you have a whole other teammate and two other people to look after. Yeah. So, you know, normally it's an easy thing to do is pressure shield, pressure shield, but uh, you know you, you just gotta don't be, have the time. Got to be really careful with it now in doubles. So, Prem's knowing that though, uh, it's doable right here, but. Uh, especially if, uh, if they, they take, take one a more quick stock. Edge guard. Yeah. yeah. A couple of shield rolls into the oh. fist bump from Red Ranger. Forward smash onto shield. Not a good plan from Prem there for a second. Oh, and he reaches in to help his teammate. Always fun to see Falco do <laughs> edge cancel side wow. piece here. And now this is all up to. Okay. Ooh, we got the 1v1. Here it is. <laughs> and we will see if Prem can do it. But <laughs> Just like that, we're playing singles. And that'll well, do it. There it is. A yeah. little off on the shield pressure game. And Damn. and from, from both ends, IPK has so much experience against Ganondorf. He actually recently lost to Red Ranger mm. at the balcony on Friday, wow. which was uh impressive. Pretty impressive. yeah. Yeah. Um actually was it long story short, I know he beat him pretty recently, but uh <laughs> look, look looking at okay. Mr. V and Prem. Uh, the two of them, what, what experience do they have with uh, maybe a Lucario or a Ganondorf? So, um, I think the Ganondorf experience kind of no, speaks for itself, that's true. to be fair. <laughs> but um, Lucario, um, there are a few Lucarios in NorCal. But as far as I know, there aren't any, like, you know, higher level ones. Right, and so I, I don't know if there are any on IPK's level, so. 
Yeah, Still. it's rare to find oh. anyone as good as IPK, period, right? So. Yeah, and you were talking about how Prem can be a god or a buster. Well, yeah, right there. Look, uh, yeah, 15 seconds in and yeah, I think, stocked out. Yeah, he lost that stock faster than I could even introduce the <laughs> game to. So uh, that's going to really hurt, especially... Considering his winner's quarters, we're still not into a best of fives yet. I still think yeah. yeah, so this is still best of three, so that's really going to hurt that much more. But, you know. We'll see if they can pull it off, though. Yeah. They're not looking so bad, aside from that. The percent building is, is about even, aside from, the, you know, down a stock painfully. Right, but good edge guards from uh, Mr. B. They're going to yeah. be back at even. And, you know, despite that, it's almost dead even right now because of that. Really smart play right now from Blue Team. I think this was a uh, stage more suited to Blue Team. Um, you have more opportunity with the platforms, I think. Yeah, you have a lot of survivability, especially considering, you know, you find a Ganondorf with good DI here. They can live up to near 160 like Mr. B right there. Yep. Oh. And now they're back down again. Basic, well, we'll see if they can clean out IPK soon, which they will definitely need to do if they want to stay in it. Right. He's and holding on to his stock really well, being smart with his shield, just not getting hit. And a majority of this game has just been finding people off stage and capitalizing with an edge guard, and Mr. B's been doing that constantly. And that's where I think most of their stocks are going to be coming from. Yeah, especially since it's Dreamland, you know. So people aren't going to die that easily just off the side. You got it. You have to have your edge guards. Yeah, 90% 90, 90 of the time, if you see someone dying on this stage, it's because of an edge guard. It's really rare that you're going to find them on stage dying. So, seeing Mr. B, though, he's taken, I believe, three stocks or so just from solid edge guards. Really smart stuff. That's yeah, actually very impressive. Um, although, again, or edge guard game is nothing to laugh at. Oh, no. Not he at has all. very strong aerials. He has the Tipman, which is a great. Right. And at any time, you know, if he wants to cancel some stocks, he's always got that side B. Exactly. He can, you know, cash in a high percent stock in exchange for an opponent's low percent oh stock. Oh, yeah, the, the down air. The down air to side B is a ruthless combo. Ooh, almost back air, back air. That could have been a nice conversion, but let's see. And they're actually pretty even. Yeah, despite which Prem's definitely SD. surprises me. Got four uh, stocks at B still. But. They have been, I think, keeping control of the stage pretty well. And I think the, the increased height, because it's a tri-plat, has right. let Falco do a little more work in his combos, too, because he is like a very vertical comboing character. Oh, yeah, his full hop is giant, so yeah. really helps him out. Oh, oh and no. Just, all right. Now, see, that's okay, but though. But it is perfectly yeah. even. We, we, were, we were just talking about that. You get that side B, cancel the stock, and we're just down to one stock across the board now. We'll see who can perform in these last moments. Oof. Red flubs Ooh, the punish. A nice combo from Blue right there. A little team. Oh no! Oh, there he is. Does make it back. <laughs> that is the power of teammates. Keep yeah. the edge guarder occupied so you can make it back. That's one even of those in, you know, easy edge guard situations. And yeah. That's one of those moments you just want to hold your breath because like uh, I don't know, they're gonna get the edge guard. Is this gonna be really bad? But Prem going in on IPK right oh, now. Oh, but his laser actually disrupts Mr. B's own recovery. And it and looks we'll like see if he can pull it off. He's oh, living. Get to the edge. Nope. Yep. Prem. Another one v one. Oh and my god. And there it is. Prem takes it him out. There it is. See, Prem the god came wow. out yeah. right at the end there. Really made up for that early SD. Definitely, no doubt about it. And we're heading to game three. I wonder where they'll go. IPK shaking his head a little bit. Shake it off, you know. That's that, that's what this game's all about. You know, you have a lot of physical aspects involved mm -hmm. with pressing buttons, doing this, and having all sorts of stuff with the controller. But you you got something connected up in your head there that's controlling your hands. You know, you really have to have the right mentality because right now IPK had a little bit of a upset. You know, he's like, oh, that shouldn't right. have happened. I shouldn't have done that. But all the while, you know, he's... He, he knows how to maintain a cool head, though, especially considering how many nationals he's been to. And, you know, you just, you know, keep, keep a level head. And especially blue team being able to do that, bringing this to game three, same exact thing. Yeah, got to keep composure. You don't want to let your play that has been good so far slip because you're upset. Uh, that's definitely an issue I think that players face. Right, red team really controlling center stage, but uh, Prem helps them find their way back into it. Ooh, beautiful nice. forward smash. And we'll see if he can make it back despite Red Ranger being there. But I think that will do it. Oof, oh. He should have let him die. Yes. Um, 
Maybe he was thinking there would be a fade back and he was going to get the end of <laughs> there. Yeah, he had the Tipman to put him in that scenario, but ultimately uh, red team's still looking pretty good. Yep, they're solidly up, I would say. Oh, oh friends. Nice back air, but wow. the platform, the homie is here. Yeah, Smashville is, uh, it, it, it's like the the less extreme Randall. It can be a lifesaver or it can just kind of give you the finger like, ah, I was just four pixels away from yep, you living, you know. Slides away. <laughs> But uh, helps that IPK there, and we're still disappointed that everyone ignored the balloon. That was that's crucial. Yeah, always. There is balloon karma, you know. Pretty much. Uh, if you pop the balloon, good things come to you. Mr. Reeve just not enough recovery wow. there to make that it back. IPK has been holding on to the stock forever. Oh yeah, and I, I think that's one thing because he's a <coughs> very very patient player, so he doesn't have to mind uh, if someone wants to come towards him or if someone wants to stall him out, you know. That's Still, true. six and a half minutes on there, and especially with this teammate of Red, you know, they're, they're willing to wait. They can wait it out, especially with the lead they have right now. Yeah, they're definitely willing to wait for Blue Team to do something and then punish instead of trying to really, like, get in there and start something. Yeah, Ganondorf trying to grab with his elbows. <laughs> That's uh, basically what led to that whole stock right there. Again, watching some of these grabs is always very sad. They just don't want to reach out and get it, you know? Like when you watch Mario hug himself. Right. Just like patting his own armpits. Yeah. Very goofy. But, I, you know, balance is balance. Yeah, Red Team really looking to take this set right now. Great F smash from Red Ranger. Oh, a but nice the short in there. But it looks like it won't be enough. And that should be the game. There it is. Five stocks left. <laughs> Red team pretty definitely. Insane. That was quick. Pretty commanding lead. Yeah, that was way faster. Like, I almost felt like that was on Wario Land or something because that was just a slobber knocker of the whole set right there. So, really it good set. Um, SoCal takes it once again. <laughs> it's hopefully we keep this trend. I'm, I mean, I'm just trying to remain hopeful, but still. Yeah. yeah that, that was. <laughs> 